हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नॉलेज वाला डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आई बी एम कुरम रूल सेट एंड दिस टूटोरियल विल बी डिवाइडेड इन अ वेरियस पार्ट्स सो आई विल अपलोड वीडियोज अलॉन्ग विद वीडियोज आई विल एड सम काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स एंड सम काइंड ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स एज वेल सो so you can read those documents and get the knowledge from those documents as well maybe i, I will try to add some kind of example with j units classes so you can put those sir rule set xml file in your uh, work space and run the j unit and check how it is working so today i am going to start the overview of the ibm sir rule set so the thing is what is sir rule set and why we are using sir rule set in place of other technologies which are already available in the market and uh, how we are using and uh, how it is working internally uh, so i will start uh, what is sir rule set so sir rule set is uh, just a kuram express rules engine so kuram is having its own framework which is of providing functionality to write your business logic in a xml format and then kuram infrastructure will understand it and it will convert these xmls in the java source code and uh, then it will run whenever it is required so when it is required so like uh, kuram application whenever you are creating any application you are adding person then you are creating application case once your application case is created you are adding all the evidences like address evidence social security evidence citizenship evidence state residency evidence and maybe if it is related to your programs like if it is a income support you have to add income you have to add uh, mm, an earn income earn income you have to add employment employer there are a lot of evidences we are adding here so where exactly sir uh, start executing in your application so sir is basically having a lot of category so first category is eligibility and entitlement like whenever you are uh, trying to check the eligibility of the household you are running sir rule set in the background to check the eligibility of that household also you are running uh, you are uh, displaying that result whatever check eligibility result is coming you are displaying using sir rule set only also we are using sir rule set in validating all the evidences not a static evidence dynamic evidence basically so dynamic evidence is having a structure so you can write your sir rule set and you can attach with your uh, dynamic evidence metadata so whenever that evidence is being created it will be validated using that sir rule set also you can write verification rule set that will raise a uh, verification to verify by the case worker also you can uh, use sir rule set in advisory section maybe you have seen in the right hand side of the kuram application we are getting one adv advisory section in which it is uh, ad it it will give uh, advice like if you made some mistake in your evidence or there are some issues are available in your application case or ic case it will start displaying those suggestions so that is called advisory section and uh, we have advisory rule sets as well so rule set is basically being used in various part of the kuram application so main part is evidence dynamic evidence if you have dynamic evidence you can create validation rule set so how it will work suppose you created one uh, income rule set in which you are giving income as a minus 200 that is not a valid as per business scenario the income should be zero or more than zero so we can write one evidence in which we can say if amount is uh, greater less than uh, zero then throw this message like uh, income should not be less than zero 
also we can raise uh, we can write a verification rule set for your dynamic evidence once your income is inserted and income is uh, uh, more than one limit which you configured like uh, 200 200 200 uh, 2000 per month so it will raise one verifications uh, for the case worker so case worker will get the notification and it will check the verification and it will verify whether and it depends on case worker how it will proceed so you can write sir rule set to very uh, to raise the verification also uh, also once your application is created your evidence is created and uh, your evidences are uh, up to date and you have entered all the uh, valid information in your evidences and your apply you did apply changes as well then you, there is a one option uh, in quorum application so we can check the eligibility of uh, that particular uh, application to check whether this uh, this household is uh, eligible or not so in this case eligibility and entitlement rule set uh, will be executed so suppose one household is there in which uh, one uh, uh, responsible adult is there and there are two kids uh, and responsible adult is earning just a 500 and we can write one uh, uh, one eligibility rule set in which we can say if household income is uh, is less than equal to 200% of FPL and uh, they have kids which required some kind of uh, uh, assistance like uh, foster care child care or anything else then we will they they will be eligible and if income is more than 200 percent fpl and uh, household size is uh, uh, three then uh, those people are not eligible so this kind of conditions you can write in your rule set and uh, once you are checking your eligibility it will run your rule set and it will uh, give the result so once your result is available you want to see the result of your rule set that time also you can use your sir rule set to display the result of your uh, uh, eligibility so it will display whether household was passed or citizenship was passed or if why why it failed suppose here they are uneligible uh, they are ineligible and uh, they are not getting benefits uh, then you can also see what was the reason so display rule set will have all kind of inputs uh, to display uh, why it was not eligible so these are the aspects uh, of uh, sir rule set which we are using in our quorum room quorum application the main important thing is uh, eligibility rule set display rule set validation rule set and verification rule set <coughs> and propagator basically <coughs> so what uh, what are the inputs uh, for uh, uh, your uh, sir <coughs> rule sets so rule set accept various kind of inputs so first input is a dynamic uh, evidences you can say basically evidences not dynamic or static it is up to us how we are uh, how we are uh, doing our code to uh, to give data as an input to this sir rule set so dynamic evidence static evidence is a input for sir rule set database tables are also uh, act as an input for sir rule set there are uh, some properties files are also there in which you are putting messages or some static uh, uh, data that is also one kind of input for your sir rule set also we are uh, writing some kind of rate tables uh, those are also available as an input for your sir rule set so these are the input uh, which sir rule set accept and produce the output so basically sir rule set is a xml file you are writing xml quorum is having its own schema which is a uh, predefined all the elements and attributes so if you are violating anything it will fail your schema validations so we have to learn the schema of quorum rule set and uh, we have to see how and what kind of attributes and element it is using 
also you can uh, write your uh, uh you can write your uh, rule set using the uh, editor kuram is providing one uh, kuram express rules editor so that is also uh very popular nowadays so you can just navigate uh kuram editors and you can it is just a drag and drop options available so you can drag and drop and you can write your sir rule set but i have seen as a developer i saw most of the developer prefer to write uh, um, sir rule set using xml file so here in my tutorials maybe next uh, tutorials i will provide a uh, rule set explanation technical explanations using the xml file development so i will focus on to develop our sir rule set using xml files and what kind of configuration we have to do and uh, obviously the j units as well so you can write your j unit to test your rule set so i will provide all the uh, tutorials uh in my next videos thanks a lot for watching knowledgewala.com please provide your valuable comments for further improvement thanks a lot have a nice day